Hello my friends, my name is Steve Muniv with Steve Muniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat and share my knowledge on anything boating. Let's talk about um, something that I get a lot of calls on. They call me up, Steve, do I get single or twins? Do I get twins or triples? Triples or quads? And um, I'm going to help you out. So let's go into it. Um, this is more for the new boaters. I know you, I know you experienced boaters are gonna are gonna know this, um, but let's talk about just facts. Facts. Um, here's one thing I'm sure you hear a lot about. No man, get twins because twins are better. Um, if you're going out into the ocean and one fails, you can get back on one engine. It sounds awesome. It almost, that statement alone cer certainly makes a lot of people just stick with twins. They think of their family, safety, all that. Um, and it's true. It's true. So that you should think of. Everything I'm going to say, just consider, you know, that's it. And just make, you make your own decision. So that's one thing. Now, think about this. Um, yeah, if one fails, but if you go to the Bahamas and get bad fuel, um, now you've got a problem with all your engines. So it's not just like, it's not just the reliability of having more than one engine will get you back, you know, um, just something to consider. Also, another thing people say is, oh, the boats are, um, the engines are cheaper if you go with one or two versus three or four. Um, yeah, yeah, it does. Um, it, it is going to give you less costs on um, maintenance and parts and stuff like that. But um, when you are looking at the bigger picture, you don't want an underpowered boat either. And also, resale is a big thing. And resale, resale is really big. Like for me, it's huge. Um, and it plays a part in almost every boating purchase decision that I would make um, I'd always consider resale so like if you're building a new boat and the um, and the model says yeah you can get twins or you can get triples well um, most of the time if you get the smaller engine package like the twins if there's triples you might have a harder time reselling your boat in the future so these are things you need to you know consider. Um, I've got these nice pictures here. So one could be stability, right? It, with a single, you're going to be a little bit more wobbly. With twins or triples or more, um, you're going to have more of a stable boat. Um, we mentioned the resale. We mentioned less on cost. But um, if you value um, the ease of docking, the, the uh, let's say if you have a joystick, you can't really have a joystick with one, it's better with two or, or triples, um, then that value that you place on that, that ease of, of docking and not having the stress of, 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 of not knowing what to do, especially if you're a new boater, um, may outweigh uh, the cost savings that you would have with a single engine, you know, or a, just a lesser engine, okay? Because I, I, we're talking about twins, triples, quads, I mean, six. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. Yes, you're going to burn less fuel with a single, um, but not necessarily because it also depends on how heavy the boat is, um, you know, what kind of hull design it is, the low, you know, like how much load you're putting on it. So, yeah, a single engine actually could even be faster if there's less drag. Um, because twin engines or, or more engines will give you more drag but man there's like this sweet spot there and so a lot of these boat builders they they know that um so you you won't have 
that much of an issue um, with that. Usually the twins are going to be better um, like on, on an overall performance. Now another discussion could be twins versus twins, but then more horsepower versus less horsepower. Maybe we should leave that for another time. But um, yeah, so like it's going to be I mean, twins are going to, or more, more engines are going to be um, less, uh, they're going to work less uh, than the single engine. So you're, you're going to put less strength, uh, st strain, sorry, on the, on the engines. Um, the other thing is V, so like if you're thinking of twin, uh, like 150s versus a single 300, right? Um, because that happens a lot, then you have to consider, you know, the 150s are, you know, V4s versus V6, or, you know, V6 versus V8. Um, you have to think about that. And then because of that, you know, you're obviously getting more torque, which gives you more speed. But then with bigger engines, they're heavier, right? There's a lot to think about. Um, that's why you got people like me, you know, we just talk to you about it. But or every salesman usually will give you um, these things. But for the most part, I mean, sometimes you have an uh, option on, on horsepower, and I would say I rather, I rather overpower than underpower for resale, um, but you don't wanna overpower too much. For example, let's say you've got like a boat um, that has um, that that you can put four that four tw you can the the factory will put four twenty five Yamahas right, but they know that it's going to be too heavy for the boat, but it'll just be more bow rise. I mean the boat will take it. The boat will be it'll be fine, but the boat will perform way better with lighter engines. But nobody's really telling you this. I mean, sometimes the salesman and everybody will tell you this, right? But it's not like out there, you know, like you don't want to say um, just get this engine package. Then then that would be the only one um, offered. But no, you people have choices. So, so for example, like the 425s, they weigh, um, they weigh 950 pounds each. But let's say you've get, um, and this will blow your mind, 450 pounds. Mercury's way less. They're like 690 uh, pounds, right? So now you're going up horsepower, but you've reduced your um, your weight, and that might be a better uh, engine choice than uh, than triple 425s. Um, but you Yamaha fans out there, maybe you're like, no way, I'm going to stick with Yamaha, and that's fine. Um, it depends on the boat really and it'll depend on the weight so if there's too much weight like if there's plenty full of weight on the on the on the on the boat then you won't really have to worry about that so much and it might be even better to have um, like more torque you know so there's there's a lot to it I mean if you've got if you've got a lot of weight you're gonna have more bow rise, you know, um, and but resale might help you because people really love horsepower. Like um, it doesn't matter if the boat doesn't perform as good; it'll still resell just as quick and maybe even better, just because it has higher horsepower behind it. It's a little weird, I know. Um, it doesn't make sense, but it's true. So, I mean. Um, also, some people don't care about resale at all. They want to have a great experience for themselves. Maybe they're tall, maybe they're short, and then that plays a, a role in what engine package they get because they really don't want to have that bow rise and be looking over, you know, or looking at the sky because um, when you're trying to get on plane, you're like this. <laughs> so, anyways, I think... I think we're good. I mean, I, I just wanted to give you kind of my thoughts on, 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 on single versus twins or twins versus trips, 
you know, and maybe you, maybe this helped. So that's it. What else? Should we talk about anything else? Nope. I think we're okay. Maybe we'll do this again in the future and I'll be a little bit more structured because I was kind of just winging it, but um, that's it. My name is Steve Muniv with Steve Muniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, and share my knowledge on anything boating. You can always connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. Yeah, I was kind of rambling. We need some structure. Maybe some bullet points or something.